given that any thought regarding the NCAA tournament and, and what that might look like for you as well? Um, yeah, I've seen that. Um, I'm not really sure. Um, I mean, I feel like it would uh, just be different. I don't, I don't know what else to kind of say. Um, but I mean, we'll kind of see what happens with that. Mm -hmm. What was the team's general vibe regarding this whole coronavirus outbreak? Yeah, I mean, we're just trying to be careful. Um, a lot of um, just, you know, wash your hands. Um, just be very careful about what you do. I mean, obviously, everyone come back to class today, um, yesterday as well. Uh, just be, ca be careful and cautious of what you're doing, what you're doing with your hands, and just um, wash your hands every time, pretty much. And um, just kind of be careful. Do you think it's going to change maybe how you guys, you guys interact a lot with fans? You know, do you think it's going to maybe, you guys are going to take that precaution, maybe not to high five or sign or anything? Um, like maybe a little bit. Um, at the same time, we, we want to try and, um, you know, anytime they're fans, I mean, you know, take pictures, sign off graphs, but yeah, maybe, um, We'll give high fives or something, but I don't know. Um, we'll just still interact with them. Um, and, um, that's just kind of who we are, but you know, at the same time, we just got to be cautious with all that as well. You guys are already, I mean, going to be in the NCAA tournament regardless of what happens this week. So uh, I guess where do you kind of find that, that motivation to you know, still show up and then play your best? Yeah, I mean, we want to make a run in the Big Ten tournament. Um, we, know we're, we know we're capable of doing that. And, um, we want to kind of go out and prove that we're able to do that, and um, we can only do that um, if, we don't, if we win Thursday. And so it starts with Rutgers, and um, right now we're focused on that. Um, and anything after that um, will really help us. Um, but I mean, we, we think we can make a run, and it just starts with one game at a time. And, uh, how we do that is we get ready to practice today, we'll watch film, um, and we'll just go from here. Does losing three out of four to close the season add to maybe the fuel, especially within the Big Ten, to maybe prove some people wrong? Um, a little bit, um, but the Big Ten is just so hard. Um, it's a tough conference, and uh, whether you win or lose, um, there's going to be some good, good games. And we've learned from each of our wins and each one of our losses. And so um, I think we've had a lot of highs and lows this year, and I think that will really help come tournament time. And I think um, we'll, be, we'll be bad test, and uh, we'll be ready to go Thursday. What's it about, what's about the Big Ten at tournament? It seems to bring the best out of you guys, obviously, making it to the final of each of the last three years. Um, I think just the whole season just really prepares us um, for – Playing how, for how many games and how many days. Um, I mean, the freshman year we played four games, four days. Sophomore, and last year three games, three days. So I mean, I think I think starting with the coach said they do a good job preparing us, and even the Bahamas, those kind of short turnarounds after we win. And I mean, I feel like the guys do a really good job of just after the win, just really preparing, and locking for the next opponent. And so I think um, we will come prepared, and that, that starts with Thursday. And given the parity of this league, I mean, how much? How difficult is it going to be to extend that streak to four years in a row? Uh, it's going to be very difficult. I mean, uh, we can't go anywhere if we don't win Thursday. And so we're just focused and locked in on that. And then after that, anything can happen. And so we're hoping to make a big run. And um, I know all the guys are locked in, and uh, we'll just go from there. What's the biggest key going into the conference tournament since you guys have had so much success in recent years to making a run? Um, just kind of playing at the right, at the right time. Um, and, I mean, we know what we're capable of. We, we love playing in a neutral court. Um, I feel like that gives us advantage of, compared to some other teams. Um, that, I mean, especially playing that first game of two. Um, get, kind of get those jitters out of the way, just get on the court and uh, get the young guys experience out there. Um, but at the end of the day, it's just another game. And we got to come prepared, and Rutgers is a very good, very good team. Welcome.